You know, I love Fat Scout. It's fun to just run right at people with a shotgun knowing that you have way more health than they can ever hope to defeat. But as fun as the shotgun is, now I miss my sandwich. If only there was a way for me to have both. What if TF2 let you equip two secondaries? What if TF2 let you use two secondaries? I, I literally just said that. Yeah, that's a great idea for a video. What? You, what? So the question today is, if any class could equip two secondaries with one replacing the primary slot, which classes would benefit the most? The only restriction I'm going to put in place to keep things interesting is no duplicates, or in other words, the two equipped secondaries have to be different from one another. So let's go through the classes one at a time and see what they've got in their kit. Scout presents a bit of a disappointing start, since the main function of the pistol and the cleaver are outclassed by the shortstop and the rap assassin, assuming they're competing for the same weapon slot. But Scout at least does have a few interesting secondary combinations that could be worth exploring. The med milk and the pretty boy's pocket pistol could certainly be one, since the combined healing would give you up to 144 health back from a single magazine. While this still doesn't compete with meat shotting milked enemies with literally any of your primaries, this could present a pretty decent medium range tank build not too dissimilar from the infamous Black Box and Conch Strat. But I think the real star of the show for Scout in this instance would be the Criticola, since giving the Cleaver mini crit bleed and saving the pistols from damage fall off would actually be a legitimate combo. And yeah, that's it for Scout. Like I mentioned, there isn't really anything that your damage dealing secondaries do that can't be done better by primary or melee options. So Scout really wouldn't benefit from two secondaries all that much. Soldier wouldn't fare a whole lot better, but he does at least have banners, which could potentially lead to something. Soldier's damage dealing options would be limited to the three multi-class shotguns and the Righteous Bison, or in other words, the three multi-class shotguns. Interestingly enough, you could probably make a legitimate playstyle out of these alone. The Reserve Shooter and the Panic Attack both have a deploy speed bonus, so you could very quickly switch back and forth between them to effectively have a double clip size, double firing speed shotgun. But if you wanted to be a team player and run a banner, your options are a bit more limited. The Stock Shotgun is the only secondary that I'd be willing to rely on as my main damage dealer, since the reserve shooter has less ammo, the panic attack becomes inaccurate after a few shots, and the righteous bison makes all of my bones turn off. Pairing the shotgun with the banner could actually be a real strategy, though. As shown by the scout scatter gun and Criticola combo, a mini crit boosted shotgun can actually do a lot in the right hands, and damage resistance or healing would also be appreciated. Now, would a banner boosted shotgun be as effective as a banner boosted rocket launcher? I mean, no, probably not. But at least unlike scout, soldier secondaries would make for a significantly different playstyle that's similar to fast scout, people might end up enjoying more than normal soldier. Speaking of fat scout, it has not slipped my mind that by using the conscious speed boost in the shotgun, you get a very similar play style to scout, which would inevitably get named something funny. Soldier isn't exactly fat, but he's not skinny either, so what is he, stocky? Stocky scout? Yeah, that's good enough. Anyway, please welcome your new stocky scout overlords, they will provide you with a speed boost and heal and hit effect momentarily. As for the rest of soldier's secondaries, they're all passives that only benefit rocket jumping, which we obviously couldn't do, so there'd be no point in using any of them here. I guess if you really really wanted to, you could slap on two banners and double dip with the damage that you're dealing, but considering that your only means of dealing damage would be through non-rocket jumping assisted melee combat, I would not bank on that working. Okay, the first time I looked at Pyro, my thought was, oh, you could run a flare gun and a shotgun at the same time, that would be cool. But oh boy, I was missing the bigger picture here, because doing this procedure on Pyro would be absolutely busted. So you know how there's a weapon that allows you to light people on fire from halfway across the map and stun them in place? And you know how there's also a weapon that does 90 damage to burning enemies and has the exact same range? Yeah, enough said. This playstyle would be stupid. The speed at which you could destroy enemies from literally any range would arguably make the flare gun scorch shot combo more effective than actual pyro on some maps. And the worst part about it is that because the flare guns reload while inactive, you could continue switching back and forth until you ran out of ammo completely with almost no gaps in your stream of flares. Even the man melter could be useful in this combo since it can crit enemies who aren't already on fire for a 180 damage combo in less than a second. This type of weapon alone would make pyro a nightmare to deal deal with if you let classes have two secondaries, and I personally believe that it would perform better than normal pyro under a lot of circumstances. Oh yeah, pyro also has shotguns. I mean, you could run a shotgun and a flare gun at the same time. That would be kind of cool, I guess. I can't really think of an instance where that would be better than having a flamethrower, but it could definitely be a fun alternative playstyle for pyro if you've gotten bored of the normal ones. One meme playstyle I could definitely see becoming a thing is the detonator, thermal thruster, and back scratcher, which would give pyro insane mobility to get near people and a pretty good melee weapon to kill them with. But considering how good air blast is in pyro, Rose Cat using anything but double flares would definitely be for fun rather than for effectiveness. Demo Man was challenging to say the least. Ignoring the fact that both sticky bomb launchers and shields need the right click button to work properly, what would equipping two shields even do? Would it give you two charges, a double length charge, a single charge that's twice as effective? How do you even determine that? Well, the answer is that because of a technicality regarding equip regions, we actually don't have to. 
You see, every TF2 weapon that's visible on the player takes up the corresponding equip region, which is why it's impossible to wear certain cosmetics while you use certain weapons. For instance, you can't wear any boot cosmetics while you're using the gunboats because both items take up the soldier's shoes slot. Because shields would very likely work the same way if Demo Man had any risk cosmetics, I'm going to say that Demo is only allowed to have on one shield at a time. That also means that Soldier couldn't use two banners at the same time if I were being consistent and all, but that's significantly funnier and less headache inducing to think about, so I don't care. Also, for the sake of the video, I'm going to assign the shield charging button to special attack, you know, the one you press in MVM to get medic shield, so that way we don't have any conflicts with sticky bomb launchers. So the immediately obvious choice for double secondaries is the sticky bomb launcher and a shield, which would basically function like Hybrid Knight, but with added mobility. And yeah, assuming we worked out the technical issues, this combo would be insane. Having the versatility of the sticky bomb launcher, which I personally believe to be the best weapon in the game, on top of damage resistance and free movement that a shield gives you would be bonkers. I definitely want to see gameplay testing to give a definitive evaluation, but considering that the sticky bomb launcher and the boots were a viable combo at one point, the sticky bomb launcher and a shield would be even better. It's hard to say what shield would even be the best, since all of them offer something you'd want, but the flexibility to switch between all three options would just make this playstyle that much better. I definitely think the stock sticky bomb is the way to go here, though, since the other two are a bit too specialized to be used as your main source of damage, but I definitely think that you could make some funny loadouts with them if you really wanted to. Alternatively, if you wanted to run two sticky bomb launchers instead of a sticky and a shield, this could also be potentially game-breaking. Since the Scottish Resistance can detonate its sticky separately from the quickie, you'd have a lot of control with how you defended an area. You could also have 22 bombs down at any given time, which would be terrifying, and don't even get me started on what using a sticky bomb launcher with a sticky jumper would look like. So yeah, Demo Man has a ton of amazing loadouts that you'd be able to make under this set of rules. I definitely think that Demo Man would benefit the most from this procedure, and the more I talk about it, the more I want to cover a control point in 22 stickies. Moving on to Heavy, the reason that I made this video in the first place, we encounter a combination of weapons I genuinely believe you should be allowed to equip. Having both a shotgun and a lunchbox in your kit would be amazing for people playing Fat Scout, since the ability to self-heal is what makes Heavy usable in the first place. Having two sandwiches would make you the ultimate friendly, running two shotguns would allow you to swap back and forth for even more shots, and why isn't this a thing already? I've seen this one discussed a lot around the community, so I won't go into it much here, but the idea of Heavy being able to use another secondary in place of his minigun would add some much-needed creativity to an otherwise restrictive class. Engineer has three secondaries, what do you even want me to say? I'd rather have a shotgun than a pistol every time, and even though the Wrangler and the Short Circuit would be annoying to play against, it still wouldn't be amazing since it leaves you virtually defenseless. If we allowed Engineer to have two shotguns on the other hand, then you start to find the broken combos. And by broken combos, I literally just mean the Frontier Justice and the Widowmaker, because if I saw a Gunslinger Engineer running both of those at the same time, I'd probably just uninstall the game. The moral of this story is that Engineer is comically deprived of weapons, and that three secondaries in a game like Team Fortress 2 is not nearly enough. Medic has a wide variety of- oh, come on. Yeah, so because I'm not entirely sure of how having two mediguns sharing the same uber meter would work, I'm going to use the equip region cop-out I mentioned earlier because each medigun has a different backpack associated with it. Hell yeah, technicalities. If we did ignore the uber problem, though, I definitely could see the merit in running two mediguns instead of a crossbow. Being able to provide both crits and uber to your team at the same time would be huge, even if you had to make a choice between which one you wanted whenever you popped. I could also see the strat of doing all of the healing with the quick fix and switching to stock when you uber, but I feel like unless you're in a competitive setting, it would still be better to just use the crossbow. And just for the sake of saying we tried, I don't think anything interesting would come from letting the medic use two syringe guns. Being able to use the crossbow and the blitzsauger at the same time would make battle medic a lot of fun, but not having any means of using uber would effectively neuter the class, so I probably wouldn't recommend it anyway. Sniper has two damage dealing secondaries, and they both suck, so there is literally no reason to use them over something like the Huntsman. The only possible interesting combination of weapons you could use would be the Gerardi and one of the SMGs, since mini crit SMG bullets actually do a decent amount of damage. Other than that, most of Sniper's secondaries are meant to assist, you know, sniping, so because of that there isn't really anything cool to explore with them. Spy. No. You could have two sappers. Why would you want two sappers? Even if we let Spy use two revolvers, it wouldn't really add anything to the class. I guess I'd rather have the passive Latrandra cloak boost than a sapper if I'm not fighting any engineers, but that's literally the only thing that would change. Even if we somehow allowed Spy to pick a second wash instead of a sapper, the fact that they both share the same meter would mean that you're only allowed to use one at a time. And since the dead ringer can only be used when it's completely full, you wouldn't get much use out of it anyway if you wanted to use any of the watches at all. Spy's kit is just too streamlined to make something like this useful. We're ending with more of a fizzle than 
a bang here. So anyway, if classes were able to pick two secondaries in place of their primary, overall not a lot would change. Demo Man and Pyro would become somewhat broken, and I guess Soldier and Heavy would have some fun alternative playstyles opened up, but outside of that it would be a pretty pointless change. But such is the way of scientific research. Even if it doesn't lead to a big discovery, it can still definitely be interesting to look at the process. Yes, I'm looking at you people who call my videos pointless, this is for fun, you all are goobers. And I will say, this may very well be the video that tips me over the 100,000 subscriber mark. Uh, if it is, if I have 100,000 subscribers when this goes up, thank you guys a lot for the support. Uh, it does mean a lot, and I'm not going to get into it much here. I'll, I'll have another video coming out on my second channel. It's more of a, uh, a thank you and announcement type of thing. But I am certainly appreciative of the uh, the support that you guys have given my, my random meme videos and how far I've gotten with everything. So thank you all, and if you have any video ideas of random stuff you want to see, feel free to let me know. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like. If you hated this video, you should randomly rearrange the keys on your keyboard before typing a hate comment, and most importantly, have a good one. <laughs>